Hello guys, in this uh, video, I have already solved this problem, so this is a blind. The question is, solve the equation 10x times 10, 2x is equal to 1. Give all the solution in the interval of uh, x being between 0 degree and 180 degree. So first we'll do it, and then we'll check our answer on the graphic calculator. <coughs> Okay, so what did we do? So I just wrote this down. This is this and this are the same. Okay, so let me scroll down. So what did I do? Now uh, you should know the double angle formula of tan, which is tan 2x. Tan 2x is equal to 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared x. So in place of tan 2x, in the next step I'm going to put this. Okay, so the, what will happen? So, okay, so scrolling down, this is tan 2x, sorry, tan x times, this is times tan 2x, which is 2 tan x, or 1 minus tan squared is equal to 1. Same thing, I have applied the formula, then this becomes, this is tan x over 1 times tan 2x over, or oh sorry, 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared x is equal to 1. So this and this multiplies, so tan x times 2 tan x is 2 tan squared x over 1 times this is 1 minus tan squared x. In the next step, as you can see, I can cross multiply and that's what I've done. So tan 2 tan squared x is equal to 1, 1 times 1 minus x squared is 1 minus x squared. Okay, now this has become a quadratic equation. If we add 10 squared x to this side, you have to add 10 squared x to this side. So this becomes 3 10 squared x is equal to 1. So 10 squared x is 1 over 3. So if you divide this side by 3, divide this side by 3. Okay, so what happens next? So now this is, <coughs> excuse me, tan x is equal to plus or minus 1 over square root of 3. I hope you understand. So we can write two solutions there. That is tan x is equal to 1 over root 3 or tan x is minus 1 over root 3. Now uh, if you take a calculator out, if you press in, so x would be tan inverse of or arc tan, arc tan of 1, mi 1 divided by root 3. So let me bring my calculator out. My calculator is always set on radians, so I have to change my settings first. So I'll change into degrees first. And then I go shift 10 inverse 1 divided by root 3. That would give me 30 degree. Okay. And if I press in minus 1 there, if I press, if I put a minus there, what, what would be the answer? minus 30 degree. Now I'll explain that. So let me remove the blind. So you get two answers. Tan x is equal to, sorry, x is equal to tan 30 degree or minus 30 degree. Now you should know a tan graph has a period of 180 degree. This is a tan, this is a graph of tan x. Now the question is tan x is, this is a 1 divided by root 3 which is 0. Point, this is about 0. 0.57 or 0. 0.6 in 1 dp. This is about, I'll show you on a calculator, this is 0. 0.6 and this is minus 0. 0.6. Now if you look at it graphically, the one answer that you got is 30 degree, which is 30 away from the uh, 0 degree. So the other route would be 30 away from 180. So if you go 30 backwards, that will be 150. Graphically, you can understand. But the calculator works. What the calculator is telling is minus 30, if you, if you imagine a unit circle, 10 has a cycle of or a period of 180. So minus 30 is clockwise 30 degree. And 30 degree is, when we say plus 30 degree, it is anti-clockwise. 
and minus 30 is anti-clockwise 30 degree. So let me explain that. Let me draw a unit circle. Okay, so let me draw, this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. Okay, let me draw it better. Okay, so suppose this is the unit circle. So when you say 30 degree, 30 degree is, this is plus 30, and this is, this is minus 30, okay? But uh, of course, this minus 30, uh, don't, this will confuse you. This as minus 30, this is 30 degree, and this is minus 30. Now, this has a period of uh, 180 degree, so that's why it's taken away 30, which is 150. You can understand this is not a good explanation, because this is, this minus 30 for the full circle, it is 270 degree, but as tan has a period of 180, that's why I've taken away 180 from 30. Okay, graphically, this is how, this is, I would say, this is 30 away from 0 degree. So, as it is symmetrical, you can say, you go 30 backwards, 30 from 180, and that will take you to 150 degree. Now, <coughs> we can check this on a graphic calculator by... This is the equation that we have, tan x times tan 2x. So let me check my answer. Go to your menu, go to graph. Now I have to change, okay, so let me type in tan x times tan 2x. Okay, now I want in degrees, I'll go back. Okay, so this is in degrees first, and then I'll go change from trig, scale from 0 to, say, 360. Okay, so this is, this is how the graph looks like. And we want to find what's the value of x when y is 1, so g sol, and I want to find x calc when y is 1. So the first answer is 30, and if you go scroll, the second answer is 150, okay? So you can see this is 30 away from 0 degree, and you're 30 away from, this is 90 degree, and this is 180 degree. So as it is symmetrical, you can see that uh, this is 30 and 150 degree. Okay, see you in the next video.